it's not applied. Is it applied? It's definitely something you don't get in the UK. Don't have any lucky charms. the beehive it is travel day we're traveling to new york today at 12 30 hopefully we've already checked it might be delayed um we just stayed at premier in gatwick airport and we'll give you a quick room tour before we leave the air hotel so you know what to expect so what i'll do is i'll take you turn you around and take you around the room and show you what you get in the room so as you come in the room you've got a full like lit up mirror it's got a couple of plugs and a hair dryer and then there's like a sort of hanging wardrobe thing there. A couple of hangers in, we didn't use that because we just left it pack it packaging. Um, we've got a full length mirror and there's a drawer in the bottom there. And then as you go along, you've got a big desk, a little chair. This doesn't actually work. This is like a USB port and like a HDMI cable, sorry. I couldn't think what I was going to say then. Um, yeah, it doesn't work. We tried that. Uh, kettle. Coffee, tea, and sugar, and milk pods, and stuff like that. Two cups and a glass, two glasses. TV on the wall is quite big, but it, it's got a free view on, so it does the job. Quite a bit of storage space for your luggage. As you can see, I've got three big suitcases there. One like kid child side bed, like a single bed, and then a big double bed. And that had two pillows on but there was two pillows up there in that little bag thing there and those have both got lights on and there's a plug socket down there on that side of the bed but not on that side of the bed there's a little shelf but no plugs and nothing like that and the temperature control is there and you keep the room doesn't cool it which we found quite annoying because it's warm and then we go into the bathroom and turn the light on and that's the bathroom, general toilet obviously, nice big mirror, it's all steamy because you had a shower. And you've got a nice clean, it was very clean, you've got a bed in there, and the bath, it's a full bath, and all our towels in there. And you get Bayliss and Hardin white tea neroli hair and body wash, which smells quite nice, and the shower. Very nice and hot and powerful. And then there's a hand wash. Uh, Bayless and Hardin, the same one, but it's a hand wash. So oh, obviously you get this <laughs> bolted to the wall, like individual tissue. And that's the room. So we're coming down to Gatwick Premier Inn to stay, we've stayed one night. And then obviously out the window, we can have a look at the car park. Ooh. Just there. Uh, the blackout curtains are pretty good. The curtains are quite thick and they're blackout. You do get some noise from the planes, but it's not too bad. And there was the only issue we really had was the sound of the extractor if you leave it on because it's a bit noisy. And upstairs, even though it's a quiet hotel, but uh, this morning I had a bit of running about. The bed was quite comfy, nice and soft. Uh, pillows weren't too great, but you're only sleeping in one night. I do recommend staying here. Hotel um, is literally five minutes away from uh, the airport, which is like in the car. There's Tesco's, there's um, a few food options. There isn't actually food options in the hotel. Um, there's a pub just on the corner here, but it's quite expensive. Um, 
and they give you a list of nearby breakfast stuff. You've got some details, and if you want any directions, just ask the staff. And that's the room tour at Premier Inn Gatwick. East. East. Good job you walked in at that time. Thank you. <laughs> out of the hotel, going to drop the bags in the car, head to the airport um, car, car parking. parking, car parking, car park, uh, drop the car off and then head into security, oh I haven't unlocked the car, what am I doing? So yeah we're going to head over, can't swear, <laughs> this is a child friendly uh, channel you know. Happened at the terminal, got a new uh, building there. Look. Uh, North Zone D, that's where we're heading to. We're flying North Atlantic Air. We go over to the D section over here, like North. check-in desk. Quick and easy, about 10 minutes in the queue and that was it. Uh, we're just going to go up to security, get through that and then we'll show you around the uh, departure lounge. So we made it through security, iPad got checked, um, tablet got checked. No body scan today, but yeah, quick and easy. A lot quicker than Gatwick, uh, Manchester last last year. But we're just going to go for a duty free and show you what we can, uh, what we can get in duty free. So I want a, a Mont Blanc and get a bit of a spritz. Yeah. No, they're already out of spritz in each other. Found it, Mont Blanc Explorer. Yeah, how much is it? Uh, the Explorer one, the blue one. That one there. All the gins and whiskies and all of that. I've got my Mont Blanc. Smell really good. Makeup, everything like that. I'm not really a fan of duty free, but I wanted the cheap Explorer Mont Blanc blue. So. Oh, they're going to Dior now. So just in case you're missing some sunglasses, they've got Oakley's, Ray Bans, sweets. Boarding pass oh, yeah, you need a boarding pass. If you're going to buy anything duty free, don't forget your boarding pass. And then I'm going to head into the departure lounge and just sit around for a few hours till we board. Yep. Lots of London souvenirs and toys. Some Lego pens and double decker buses and stuff. Pretty cool. 
Just in case you forgot a light bulb, a uh, charger. Not a light bulb, it looks like a light bulb. Got a portable charger for where you're going. Some London stuff. Adapters, plugs, UK to wherever you're going. Some cups. So as you come out, there's Parcher Lounge and through the security, a very water fountain. There's currently bottles there. You can get some water. So I've just come upstairs to the prep. I got myself a latte. I'm gonna have a wander around and show you the shops. There's a flying horse at Gatwick Airport, which is also the Weatherspoons, Starbucks, Wagamama's over there, Grain and Store, and there's another one, and some other shops over there. So I've just come up on the upper level, um, a few shops up here, like Starbucks on top of that showed it on the video a couple of trips ago but the escalators are there and then we've got all the departures on board just over there and now we're just waiting for our flight to open so the little ones have found out what gate are we at Lil? Oh no, we're at gate 23. We're going to go find it now and go find somewhere to charge up and get ready to get on the plane in a couple of hours. Is it two hours now? One hour? Yeah, an hour and 20 minutes. So we'll go find gate 23. I think it's over here. It's, uh, 10 tonight, where are we at? 10 to 95, it's both ways. One big circle, so we'll walk through, find our gate, charge up. Last minute, WH Smiths is run away to the gate. the salad we've been munching that before we got on the flight it was like 12 30 so we thought we'd eat a bit earlier and then we're going to um jump on the plane and i'll show you what we get on the plane for food -wise. jump on the plane gonna jump on the plane up and down <laughs> but yeah we're just gonna wait around for a little bit and uh we'll see you when we get on the plane so we're ready to get on the plane yay We're home for eight hours. We're finished up here, uh, the aircraft. Now we're waiting uh, to close the doors. Once that's complete, we'll be pushing back for a long time to the departure. Uh, looking at about uh, five or six minutes, we'll be able to do one way uh, to six. Uh, not where we get airborne. The announcement was finished, I was just about to do it, but the announcement started. Uh, this is what's on the screen, the TV, this is Norse Atlantic. 
we've got movies, quite a good selection if I'm honest. So I'll just scroll through, I won't read everything out. But... It's just a mixture of new and old classics and stuff like that. Just gonna scroll through. It's a good selection, Downton Abbey, Elvis film. All the way through. Jurassic World, I'm going to watch that in a bit. New Minions film as well. Batman, might give that a watch. on that yesterday and then TV is just a load of a you know, couple of episodes of each program scroll through these a uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode season 7 episode 4 5 and 6 Chicago Fire PD a few episodes of Curious You After Kids Dragon Riders Rescue Riders Great news, never heard of it. It's quite a few programs though. New Amsterdam, never heard of it. Parks and Rec. Oh, Puss in Boots, Three Diablos. Stargirl, Superstore. Temple. Mentalist. Sinner's the whole season, I think. Yeah, seven episodes, eight episodes of the Sinner. Season two, if you've not seen it. Uh, and Will and Grace, a few episodes of that. So that's also on the entertainment pod. It does have a USB charger in there as well, and a headphone jack. And you can turn it off the screen, it goes black. So I'm going to chill out for a bit, and we'll catch up with you when we uh, get some food. Food's come along. We've got a roll of seeds. And it's quite hard actually. You, that's the white. And and you've got a white, the and there's a brown roll as well. You get the option of white or brown. And it comes with a little bit of butter. I think is that a butter? Yeah, that's like yeah, a butter. Yes, We've got a double chocolate mousse, and then we went for the chicken because the other option was salmon. Salmon, salmon and mash or it's rice. Chicken with tomato sauce. So what we do is I'll open it up and I'll come back to you. So I've just got the lid off and it's got some chicken and some sauce and this sort of like puffy rice and some vegetables. Um, little one says it's quite nice so let's give it a taste. Yeah, Spanish chicken, that's what she said it tastes like so I'll let you know my thoughts when, uh, when I finish. Just open the um, mousse pot I think it is, double chocolate mousse. Looks really tasty and it came with a can of Coke as well. Or Fanta or Sprite. Oh, orange juice. Orange juice, apple juice, yeah. Orange juice, apple juice. I think you can get alcohol as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather not on the plane though. But yeah, uh, I'll give this a taste and uh, tell you what I think.
thank you very much. Take care. Thanks for her landing. We hope you have had a pleasant flight with us, and as soon we have the pleasure of flying with you again. On behalf of North Atlantic, the commander, and the cabin crew, we'd like to thank you for flying with us today. Thank you very much, and have a good afternoon. Thank you. Oh God, that's a big step. So we made it to New York. We're off the plane. We're headed down to arrivals to get the bags and get some food. Yeah. That's not really good, but we are. Oh, yeah. So let's go get our bags and get some food. <laughs> so we've come out of security, got through security, it took about half an hour probably. Um, not too bad. We also grabbed our bags because they came off the carousel quite quickly while I was waiting for the security check. Just going to the loo quickly and then we're going to head out of the airport on the air train to Jamaica station and get on the subway into Manhattan and hopefully I can show you what we uh, what we get up to as we're going along um, if not we'll see you outside Radio City Apartments Hotel Currently looking for the air train, we've come up here and we're going to have a look around and see if we can find it. Let's just have a wonder. Do you want to get some food? McDonald's up there. to the air train to Jamaica station it's two minutes away and then we're gonna get on the subway and head into Manhattan break everybody just got let through this air train we still have to get an air train ticket uh, a metro card though heading onto the subway we still need to get a ticket for the metro card but we're gonna get down onto the subway Pays to be polite.
manage. So we've all checked in the room, unpacked, tidied her up a bit and sorted ourselves out. Just heading into Times Square to find some food because we're absolutely starving. And it looks incredible. It's like everything I ever imagined. So we settled in Mackey D's quick and easy Demolished. and destroyed in seconds because we were so hungry. I uh, got Minute Maid, what's that, fruit punch or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oreo flurry, you've demolished cookies and I've got some baked blueberry pie or something like that. It's nice, we're starving. Definitely something you don't get in the UK, blueberry cream pie. into Target to get some cereal and some milk stuff for the room for the little one. Some breakfast and stuff like that so I'll show you some of the bits in Target before we head uh, back to the room and back to bed. Oh she's got a basket it's dangerous. So it's not the largest selection of uh, food and stuff but they have got cereal. Oh no don't have any lucky charms. Oh, what a day. What a travel day, eh? So we made it to a Radio City Apartments hotel room and first impressions of the room are amazing. We did it on the subway and we saved ourselves an absolute fortune. Very lucky. Um, we basically jumped on the air train around to the uh, Jamaica Airport station. And basically, because there were so many people, they literally just opened the gates and said, just go through. So we didn't have to pay for that, which was $8 each, I think it was. Um, and then we jumped on the subway and then we tapped the contactless, so you can use contactless here, it was amazing. Tapped it and he was like, police officer said, just go straight through. So we paid like one ticket like to go to um, the subway station that we're at in Manhattan. And it cost us like 83p because we used our Starlink card. But uh, I'm gonna leave, end the video here. If you enjoyed this travel day, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and we shall see you in the next video when we head into Times Square and have a look around. So thanks for watching, be happy.